Many summer traditions around the Ozarks have been changed, postponed, or canceled altogether due to COVID-19 concerns. Good evening and thanks for joining us here at 9. I'm Heather Lewis. Jesse is off tonight. Color 10's Bailey Stroll spoke with local organizers about what we can still look forward to and what we'll have to wait until next year. As we phase into a newer normal this summer, one word stands out when speaking with local organizers, flexibility. This year, yeah. everything's changed. But one thing is almost guaranteed, the Ozark Empire Fair. General Manager Aaron Owen says they're already selling tickets. We don't see it being a problem. Things will be a little different though. Owen says you'll see plenty of places to wash your hands and reminders if you're getting a little too close to others. There'll be a lot of markings on the ground that you haven't seen before by concession stands and we've proposed taking temperatures of all the workers and you know depending on what their jobs would be they would be in mask and and a lot more frequent sanitation of rides and we won't be running our trolleys but over in Nixa president of the Chamber of Commerce Chris Russell says it was a tough decision to cancel sucker days there's these three magic words that we want to make sure that we continue to honor and that's the safe social distancing and to do that event we would have had to water it down so much that honestly we just could not call it sucker days it wouldn't have been sucker days anymore he says they'll carry sponsors over into 2021 same with the city's annual Nixpo event but it's still a big economic hit for businesses. They missed all that income. And then you look at all the other vendors that we would have had, the food trucks and the money they would have been making. You look at the downtown businesses that we have here in Nixa, that would have been a big impact for them as well. Plus our local businesses always have like our restaurants and stuff and throughout Nixa always have record days. Russell says they still have plans to host a smaller, more socially distanced festival in Nixa the same weekend, similar to what Amanda Satterley is doing for Clever's annual festival. We didn't want to cancel it all together. We didn't want to push it back. So we wanted something, something now, like I said, something that we can kind of give back and lift a few spirits that might need it. The event would typically have music, booths, and fun for the community, but now Satterley says they've settled on one idea. We've got a fireworks display that's gonna shoot up higher and brighter than it has ever. So that way you can see it from just about anywhere in town. A socially distanced way to celebrate unity. Get out and enjoy this with your neighbors. Have driveway parties with your neighborhood. Um, and that kind of gives you a bigger sense of community. Bailey Stroll, Ozarks First. Governor Parson also announced this week the state fair is still planned from August 13th through the 23rd in Sedalia, although concerts may be canceled.